Once again, these fighters weighed 145 pounds. In the blue corner, he's 22 years old, fighting in his first ever fight as a professional mixed martial artist. He fights out of the El Nino Training Center and he represents the Scrap Pack. And he fights out of San Mateo, California, Jordan Mapa. His opponent in the red corner, 32 years old, with a professional record of two wins and one loss. He fights for Ant Dogs MMA out of Gilroy, California, Jose De Bullet Perez. Alright, here we go. Round one. Uh, if you guys have watched these events before, you notice uh, this is uh, John uh, Jordan Mappa's pro debut. He uh, had some exciting amateur bouts before he made his uh, debut here today. A couple of knockouts. Yeah, he, he's got he's got punching. He this man's got power. Yep. And I think the last time we saw uh, Jose Perez was in uh, Bellator. Yeah, in San Jose. So. Yeah. He's one of those guys that can, uh, t another one of these guys that can take a shot. But, but he, he is, he, he's down to bang, and it's not sloppy. It's not brawling necessarily. Like, yeah, exactly. This guy has a knockout fighting at this. Oh, see, that's what we're talking about, Mappa. He's got that one shot. There you go. He's making a statement here. This guy, is, this guy is a veteran. Or not a veteran, but he's definitely well-versed. And that's going to get in his head. Oh, this is where Mappa doesn't want to be, is, is on the ground. Ah, good transition, though. Recovering nicely, underhooking. Got back to his feet. See if Jose can make a transition here and take him to the mat. Oh, there he, he goes. Does. He does. You know, but Mappa trains with the El Nino camp, and you know those guys are good on the ground. Yeah, they definitely you know. bring in a lot of sparring partners as well. And, I mean, you know, they're linked to the uh, uh, Gracie's up in Concord. And, most notably, uh, Caesar Gracie camp near Lodi. A lot of great jujitsu practitioners there. Great wrestlers. Yeah, as you well. don't know who else he's been training with, it's, it's, especially if you started with the scrap pack. He could be rolling with uh, Jake Shields, the Diaz brothers. Yeah. You know, he could. He has an endless amount of guys that he could possibly be training with to get him ready for these fights. So, especially his debut against someone that uh, that's uh, pretty tough in uh, Jose Perez. Kid is a prospect completely. He, he's got that one shot that can put you out. Definitely. You know what and I he's mean? He's quick enough to get there. Yeah. yeah. As you can tell earlier when he caught Prez with that shot. I wouldn't be surprised if he pulls out a submission here. You know? Yeah. We're talking about his punching power. We have not said one thing about his jiu-jitsu. You haven't had a chance to see it often, you know? Yeah, exactly. Knocking people out. Jose's working though. If I were Jose, I'd turn and I'd bring Mappa's head to the fence rather than having the side of his body next to the fence. You know. You know, I, I know a lot of people like to be against the cage when they're working on the ground and stuff. I'm one of those people that don't like to be against the cage. I'd rather work in an open area because I feel like I get more, I have more possibilities to do to work for passing, submissions, M more for passing, I guess. Yeah. Definitely more space. You don't have a cage. Because I'm not a guy that likes to work from guard to, to ground and pound and whatnot. I like to get position and then go from there. Side control preferably. Better odds at finishing someone, definitely. Yeah. And when you got that cage, you're limited to one side moving, and it's easier for the guy to defend because you're limited to that one side. But then again, there's a lot more advantages to having the guy against the cage. That's true. Oh, wow. Those oh are some God. nasty elbows. 
those were, and they were accurate. They actually, I don't know. It, he might be doing, I mean, he might have him dazed. He might have Jose dazed from his back, and that would be a first that I've ever witnessed in the cage. Yeah. Oh my God, Can this, this might be the first TKO you witness. From the bottom guy, and then you see the welts developing all wow. over Jose. Oh, another elbow. These short elbows are catching him. And Perez has not been able to land one clean shot on Mapa. Jose's gonna need to pass if he wants to do any damage. Right now, I, if I were a judge, I'd, I'd, I'd say, can you really say? But you know how judging is, man. You know how judging is. They could see, they can, Mapa could be doing so much work, but like, well, he wasn't on top. Yeah. You know? So the Mapa doesn't slow down by the second round. Jose needs to, he needs to work. Right now he's got dominant position. He does. He has to he has to put some work out there. Ten seconds left on the clock. Oh. And he's capitalizing even more with those elbows. Oh wow. <laughs> he's knocked out. I think Jose He's done. Wow. Wow, from the bottom. Wow. What a gangster. Wow. What a gangster. That's the first time I've ever witnessed someone knock another person out from the bottom. From the bottom. With elbows. Look out for this kid, Jordan Mappa. Leaving the walls. Oh, man. What a gangster. What a gangster. Wow. He has Gilbert Melendez in there in his corner. Yeah, I, I, I've been around this sport since 2007, training, competing, watching a fan. That was amazing. I've never seen that before. Me either. Mapa is a force to be reckoned with. Because I was the first person to ever get on top of the cage here at Dragon House. Sifu hates that. Yeah. No one's ever done that. I, I have to say that was fight of the night. Yeah. <laughs> TKO of the night, definitely. Oh, it really was, dude. I, I've never, ever witnessed that, ever. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, four minutes and 59 seconds into round number one by TKO, referee stoppage due to strikes. In the blue corner, improving to one and all professionally, Jordan Mappa. Congrats to Jordan Mappa. That was amazing. That's gonna send a statement out there. Yeah. You know, knocking someone out from your back on your first pro debut and a guy who's had over five fights. All right, we have two fights remaining, the co-main event and the main event, which is a heavyweight title match.